the, the dilemma is always, you know, do you make an ending that, uh, that's tidy and pat, uh, sort of at the risk of having it be not realistic? Because a tidy pat endings, you know, they're satisfying, but it's not whatever really happens, mm -hmm. right? Um, or do you um, have it be a little, a little looser uh, in the way that real life is, um, at the risk of uh, of having it seem too open ended? So, you know, I've kind of done both. Um, in uh, in you know, a, a few of my books, I've gone to some lengths to architect big, complicated endings that all kind of sort of stick the landing, and in other cases, I haven't, haven't done so as much. Um, I don't know. On the internet, there was a joke that if they had given you the task of, of writing the last episodes of uh, Game of Thrones, there would be two more seasons where there would be a bureaucratic minister of him rebuilding King's Landing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I didn't get that job. <laughs> but um, I yeah. do, yeah, I do see, uh, um, the um, in in that another television series, I sometimes see things that my initial reaction is that I'm looking at lazy writing, but I I, I don't know if it's I suspect what it really is is the showrunner saying such and such thing needs to happen, right. you know, 35 minutes into minutes this in. episode right. or else, and so uh, then everything has to be rearranged to make that occur right. and um, um, so um, so that's I think when you sometimes see a character suddenly do something that's right, out right. of character you know which I, th I think accounts for a lot of the dissatisfaction that people felt with mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the the last part of that TV series kind of rushing it to right. uh, to a conclusion 